Hello friends, I am Professor Jamir Kotwal. Today we are going to see the course that is theory of computation. In this course, what contents we are going to cover? The first content is a finite automata. Second is the regular expression. Third one, context-free grammar. Next one is the push-down automata. Second last is Turing machine. And the last one is decidable and undecidable concept. So these are the contents which we are going to cover in the course of theory of computation. Hello friends. Today we are going to see the concept that is finite automata. As you all are aware, what is the main purpose of theory of computation is to design the compiler. If you go through the phases of compiler, phases of compiler, the first phase is the lexical phase, second one is the syntax phase, third one is the semantic phase, next phase is your intermediate, intermediate code generation, next phase is your code optimization and the last phase is a code generation means the concept that is theory of computation it is mainly used to design the compiler and in a compiler we are having a total six phases means a simple source language say suppose c c++ any language you required a compiler to compile and the output of the compiler is nothing but it is in a dot assembly language that is a target code rather this target code it is been passed to the assembler then afterwards loader linker and it will going to execute into the main memory so where exactly the finite automata it is mainly been used finite automata it is mainly used for the first phase of the compiler that is in a lexical phase. So the finite automata as well as the regular expression these are the two basic concept which requires in a phase of compiler that is a lexical phase. The purpose of the lexical phase is nothing but to generate a tokens. So here in the finite automata we having an input if I consider the input, that is integer a semicolon. Hmm? This one is the declaration of a variable. So it will going to store it onto a buffer, that is the input buffer. To read the input, we required a head head the purpose of the head is to read the input from the buffer and it will going to pass to a finite control machine means the input you are going to pass in the form of a instruction that instruction it will going to read by a finite control machine what is the main purpose of the finite control machine finite control machine it will going to move from left to right next one it will going to read the input from the buffer and the last one is it will going to process or it will going to design the automata. So when we have any of the input, say consider a finite automata. So what are the types of finite automata? The first one is the deterministic finite automata that is known as a DFA and the second one 
इज अ नॉन डिटर्मिनिस्टिक फाइनेट एटोमेटा दैट इज नोन एज ए एन एफ ए so two types of finite automata the first one is the deterministic finite automata and the second one is the non deterministic finite automata so we will see one by one what is the deterministic finite automata what is the non deterministic finite automata so in a dfa deterministic finite automata say consider in a language of c you are going to declare a variable that is integer a simply you are declaring a variable with the help of a data type integer a how the finite automata it designs say suppose integer so with the help of the state say in a q0 it will going to process i by processing i it will going to reach to the next state after processing n it will now reach to the next state that is to the q2 state and rather on by processing t it will going to reach to a next state that is to a q3 means in this way say whenever you declare any of the variable print f scan f this machine it is been designed that is in q0 state it will going to check whether i it is been processed or not if it is there it will going to move into the next state if i give say suppose i n t in this way definitely here it is not matching with the input so here the automata not going to move to the next state so same as in a dfa the dfa is nothing but a deterministic finite automata so by processing only one input one input i can reach to the next state means what in a q0 state in a q0 state by processing either zero i can reach to a q1 state or by processing one i can reach to a next state that is to a q2 state means what by processing either zero or either one i can reach to a different state that is to a q1 state as well as to a q2 state only by processing one input that is known as a dfa that is a deterministic finite automata so this machine that is q0 q1 q2 how you are going to represent the dfa you are going to represent the dfa with the help of a tuples so this machine it consists of total five tuples the first one is q second one is the input you are going to process into the machine next one what is the transitions of that particular machine from which state it is starting that is the initial state and the last one the final state that is the f where exactly the machine is going to stop or it is going to halt so the, the finite automata that is a dfa it will going to represent with this five tuples we will see what exactly the q it means q is nothing but it is a set of state it is a set means in this machine how many states you have used so we have used q0 q1 and q2 three states we have used so that is to be represented with the help of the q next one submission means the input what input you have process so here we have process the input just only 0 and 1 so submission is nothing but the input you are going to process so here we have process input just only 0 and 1 in my machine so that it is to be represented next one is the transition this one is known as a transition function for exactly the transition function it means in a state in a state so consider any state q0 hmm? in a state you are going to process the input and you can reach to the next state means in a state consider q0 state you are going to process the input 0 and in which state it will going to move it will going to move into the state of q1 so that is the output that is in a state you are going to process the input and it will going to reach to the next state next tuple is a q0 is nothing but the initial state the start state 
from where the machine is going to start so it is to be represented with the help of arrow so this q0 is nothing but it is the start where the machine is going to start and q0 it belongs to q because it is a part so that's why q0 it belongs to a q next one f f it represents a final state where exactly the machine is going to halt so in this machine say suppose for a q1 state if i given this way that is a double circle so that it represents a final state so q1 it's a final state but q2 it's not a final state and q0 it's an initial state so final state it is being represented by the q1 state so final state that is f is a subset of q so the dfa what it means it means that by processing only one input i can reach to the next state how the machine it is been represented the machine it is been represented with the help of a five tuples and these are the informations related to the tuples so this is all about the dfa so next we will see nfa that is a non deterministic non deterministic finite automata that is known as a nfa in the dfa we have seen that by processing only one input you can reach to the next state but what exactly in the nfa by processing one input by processing one input i can reach to or machine can reach to multiple state multiple state means what in a q0 state in a q0 state by processing zero i can reach to q1 state by processing zero i can reach to q2 state by processing one i can reach to q3 state and by processing one i can reach to q4 state means by processing only one input i can reach to multiple state by processing zero i can reach to q1 state i can reach to q2 state same as by processing one i can reach to q3 state or q4 state so that is a non deterministic finite automata so how the tuple it is been represented again same that is five tuples which is been represented for the dfa q is nothing but it is a set of state submission is nothing but the input you are going to process q0 is nothing but the initial state the start state and f is nothing but it is the final state where it differs it differs in a transition function how the transition function of nfa in a state in a state you are going to process the input you are going to process the input and it will going to reach to the multiple state is nothing but the power that is 2 raised to q 